Hey, and welcome to my June... Nope, July. What month is this? July. My July haul video. This was going to be a much shorter video than it actually is because I told myself that I wasn't going to buy more books than I read. But I bought 10 books this month and I did not read 10. So I failed, but I also kind of succeeded because now I have 10 new books. So the first book I bought, or technically I didn't buy this one, it was a gift. I joined this thing on Facebook where it's like you like something and put in your status and they send books to other people and I just I just now realized I still haven't sent my book because I'm a trash human being. But either way, I got Miracles in Heaven by Christy Wilson Beam. Probably not going to enjoy this book. I'm going to read it. It's super short. But like, this really isn't my kind of thing at all. Sorry, but I mean, I don't know you. I don't know who bought this for me. The second book I bought is The Botticelli Secret by Marina Fiat... Maria for a Fior... Fiorato. The second book that I bought is The Botticelli Secret by Maria Fiorato. I was in a secondhand bookshop and I saw this thing on the shelf and I'm like, ooh, this is a very pretty cover. Let's see what it is. And I picked up the back of the book and from the description on the back, it's like... This beautiful woman is a part-time model and a full-time whore, and then someone pays for her services to paint a picture of her, because she's so beautiful, and then sends her without money, and, you know, as she is pissed off, she decides that she's going to steal that painting. However, when she steals that painting, someone starts murdering all of her friends and a bunch of other clients, and it's just, and it's up to her and some dude named Guido, yeah, Guido, to figure out who's killing everyone and stop it, and it's just kind of like, prostitute murder mystery and I'm I'm a hundred percent down for that so I hope this one's a good one I'm eventually gonna get to it there's a lot of stuff on my currently reading pile that I have to finish first but Botticelli secret the next book that I bought follows more or less the same story of how I found it as the last one in that same bookstore I jumped out on the shelf at me it sounded pretty weird it's called The Humbug by Harold Schechter Sh 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 I, I don't know, authors have weird last names. But this one is along the same lines, murder mystery, but it's done with the main character being Edgar Allan Poe, and he's a detective or something-ish. He's just a guy who solves murder mysteries in his spare time. And it's it sounds really weird. I don't know how else to describe it. Though it didn't give me a whole lot of information on the inside cover of what this book was about. I just saw Edgar Allan Poe solving murder mysteries, and I'm like, yeah, done, I'll take it. The next three books that I bought are kind of... All together in the same vein, they're classics that were re-released with new covers, and they were like, you got three of them for ten bucks, so I bought all three, because I'm, I'm awful at reading classics. But I got The Iliad by Homer, The Odyssey by Homer, and Dracula by Bram Stoker. I almost said Mary Shelley, but that's not true at all. Um, I don't, I haven't read these. Obviously. I did, however, watch the DuckTales version of the Odyssey, so I kind of know what the story is. So this is the one I'm going to read first, probably. Um, the Iliad, don't know, Dracula. Well, I mean, it's, it's Dracula. I'm fairly certain I have a vague grasp on what the story is for that one. But as I said before, I'm not really one for classics. Like, reading Wuthering Heights right now, and it's, it's garbage. I mean, I'm sure someone else likes it, but it's not my kind of thing. But these three books... I don't know. I thought I would like them. I'm going to pick them up. I'm going to read them eventually. But even if I don't like them, the cover themselves, like, that's the reason I bought them. These are beautiful covers. Like, look at these things. And the spines are pretty, too. And they'll just look nice on my shelf. And then people will be like, oh, you read a lot of classics. And I'll be like, no, but thank you. The next book that I bought is Shadow and Bone by Leah Bardugo. I bought this book out of a fit of desperation because I read Six of Crows by her earlier this month. And I really, really liked it. And the next book isn't out for another couple months still, and I can't, I just, I can't, I can't not, I can't not read it. So I bought um, this first book in the trilogy that comes before Six of Crows. It's about a little war orphan girl who is attacked by monsters and discovers that she has, like, one-of-a-kind magic powers and just gets ripped from everything that she knows. Like, well, I mean, like, she gets plucked out of her life and taken away from her little orphan brother thing, which she's got a weird crush on. I find it strange that she has a crush on her orphan brother, because, yeah, I know they're not blood relatives, but they're still, like, family for each other. But I'm going to look past that, I guess. But she gets plucked away from everything that she knows and thrown into this little, like, weird magic academy thing where everyone's studying to be better Grisha Grishas. 
like I said, I'm about halfway through it. It doesn't have as strong of characters as Six of Crows does, but it's it's scratching an itch that I desperately needed scratched because I need Crooked Kingdom to come out. I've only got like two months left to wait, but it's <sighs> feels like an eternity. Next up, I bought a book. I don't technically have it. I know it has arrived in the bookstore nearby, but I got that email just as I was getting home, and I'm like, I'm not going to wait for my bus to come back to go all the way back to the mall to pick it up and then come all the way home and start recording. It's just, it was too much work. So I'm just going to tell you about it and put a picture of it there. Uh, but it's Paper and Fire. Is it Paper and Fire? Yeah, it's Paper and Fire by uh, Rachel Kane. It's the sequel to Ink and Bone, which I have on my shelf back there somewhere. I think exactly right there. But it is about a magic library that's kind of evil, but not quite evil. People are using it for evil purposes, and it's just... Oh, it's so good! And vehicles are so loud. I was kind of hoping to get a chance to reread Ink and Bone before Paper and Fire came out, but I had got swept up in a bunch of other books. I didn't have a chance to. But I'm going to get it, and I'm going to read it like right away, and it's going to be wonderful, I hope. I really hope. Oh my god, I really hope. The next thing that I bought, which I also don't have because it's in the same order, is the hardcover collected edition of the Spider-Verse event that happened last year, two years ago in the Marvel Universe, where like all the different Spider-Folk came together and did a whole thing with their things, with the spider. But I have that. Because I really wanted to get into the Spider-Man universe and like all the different Spider-People universes. And I figured like starting with the Spider-Verse event where they all come together and then moving on from that was the best way to go. And I had a 20% off coupon so I bought like this big fancy collected hardcover edition for like dirt cheap. And that's in the mall and I want it. But I'm not going back there today because that's just too far to go. And then finally the last thing I bought this month was Food Wars Volume 1 or Shokugeki no Soma depending on how you want to pronounce it. But this was a show that I really liked. I never finished it. Like, I just, I never finished season one of it, because I just do that sometimes. I watch shows that I like, and I'm like, oh, this is really good, and I'll watch, like, six or seven episodes of it and just never finish it. Because, I, again, I'm a trash human being. But the manga is much better than the show, I think. It cuts down on the perviness a little bit. The show is a little bit over the top in some parts. Also, the manga comes with, like actual real recipes of food that's cooked in the manga and I'm gonna try and make some of this stuff because that's like why would I not but yeah there are literally recipes in this book or in this manga there are literally recipes in this manga on how to cook food from this manga so not only do you get to read a story about crazy over-the-top cooking you get to actually make some of these dishes yourself so that's just wonderful pick it up get it I mean why would you not? It's good. Oh my god, this is precarious, but that was my haul for this month. It was a lot more than the nothing, or one or two books that I was planning to buy. I guess this is a lot more than one or two books, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. And eventually I'll get to read all of these things. But yeah, so that's it for this video. I will see you probably next week for the wrap-up of what I've actually, what I've actually read this month. And uh, yeah, bye!